The latest image from the James Webb Telescope is causing panic among scientists. What's really going on in the mysterious disk enclosing the nearby star Fomalhaut? A worrying new image shows indefinable thickenings within the disk. Fomalhaut, which is one of the closest and most important stars from Earth, could be quite different from what was previously thought. Again, astronomers must seriously ask themselves what they really understood about star formation and the cosmos. Could it be that we now also need to radically rethink the formation of exoplanets? The brilliance of the James Webb Space Telescope has once again astonished everyone. When this mysterious image of the extremely bright star Fomalhaut was first shown to the public, everyone wondered what was really visible around the star. Fomalhaut is also known as the Lone Star of the South, and it's one of our closest cosmic neighbors. The latest images from the JWST have revealed structures within this disk that were not expected. Strange dark patches and unexplained light patterns test previous theories about this star system. The debris disk around Fomalhaut either speaks for potentially young planets, or they are the result of catastrophic collisions, or so scientists had previously thought. But this new image of Fomalhaut and its luminous rings, as well as the debris disk, reveals a completely new view and raises new questions. Are we possibly dealing here with the first signs of dynamics that we did not know or understand before? Has the JWST perhaps discovered the traces of a previously unknown invisible planet that is making its way through this cosmic dust layer? Or are we observing the consequences of a dramatic destruction that took place over thousands of years? Scientists are faced with a puzzle. The way in which light is refracted and reflected within the disk does not correspond to the usual physical expectations. These discoveries raise questions not only about the nature of Fomalhaut itself but also about the fundamental principles of our understanding of cosmic evolution. Did exoplanets form around Fomalhaut? NASA named the mysterious-looking image of Fomalhaut in its dust shell, dusty debris, and who would have thought that this image would once again become the center of heated debate among scientists? Fomalhaut is a relatively young star, located about 25 light-years from Earth in the constellation of the Southern Fish. It's one of the brightest stars in the night sky and was often regarded by the Persians as one of the four royal stars. Researchers often refer to the bright disk of dust and debris as Fomalhaut's belt. This disk is considered by scientists to be a potential planet-forming region, which is precisely why the JWST has now turned its keen eyes to this region. The JWST was not only built to show us the first and oldest galaxies in the universe but also to significantly improve our knowledge of exoplanets. Webb's infrared spectrometer effortlessly penetrates even the densest clusters of dust and gas, and thanks to this fantastic new technology, Astronomers can now for the first time look through mysterious glass and analyze all supposed objects and suspicious clusters in detail. Are there really signs of planets here, or is this disk really something else entirely? Strictly speaking, these are several disks made up of gas, dust particles, and the remains of collisions between smaller bodies. In disks like these that surround young stars, planets can form, or there are already fully formed planets that have so far eluded our eyes. In 2008, the discovery of Fomalhaut b, a potential exoplanet within the disk, was postulated. However, a short time later, the picture changed, and since then, researchers have been unsure whether and how many planets orbit the star. The precise spectrometer examination of the dust and debris disk around Fomalhaut can not only provide scientists with exact indications of ready-made planets or early stages of development but also give them further insight into the composition of the material surrounding the star. These unique analyses of the young star system provide us with valuable clues about the processes involved in the formation of stars and the subsequent evolution of a young star system. Thanks to its advanced instruments and its ability to observe in the infrared range, the JWST detects the thermal emission of the disk around Fomalhaut and provides astronomers with analyses of the data. Each individual light frequency provides more knowledge of the size, shape, composition, and other physical properties of the dust particles within the disk. Gases become visible and analyzable, 
slowly piecing together the picture of what is really going on in the disk around Fomohot. Previous sightings have already revealed several ring-shaped structures and gaps that could indicate the presence of exoplanets. The Great Dust Cloud is a huge dust cloud located in the dust disk of Fomohot. Previously, this dust cloud was thought to be the result of a collision between large objects in the disk, leading to the formation of large amounts of dust. Now, a picture is emerging that the condensations, which have been given the provisional names F2300C and F2550W, could be much more, namely evidence of young planets. If these initial estimates prove to be true in the coming weeks and months, this discovery would be a sensation because then we will see some of the youngest exoplanets we have ever seen in the rings around Fomalhaut. Spotting exoplanets in the vastness of space is already very difficult, making young planets visible was long considered impossible. Now that we can witness the birth and development of planets in other systems, we have a unique opportunity to understand the evolution of our own solar system in a completely new way. Fomalhaut, the mouth of the fish, is a young star that has an old history here on Earth. Young in the cosmic context is 440 million years. 25 light years away from us, the star of spectral class A3V shines in such a bright white bluish color that Fomalhaut is one of the best known stars on Earth. With a mass 1.92 times that of the Sun and 16 times the luminosity, Fomalhaut is definitely one of the brightest stars in the night sky. In ancient times, Fomalhaut was recognized by the Greeks as part of the constellation Pisces Austrinus, which to this day represents the southern fish. The name Fomalhaut comes from Arabic, it is a shortening of the term, Fum al hut which translates as, Mouth of the Fish. The ancient Persians called it Hastang, one of the four royal stars that were regarded as guardians of the heavens. In Islamic astronomy, Fomalhaut was described as part of the constellation al dolf the dolphin, and had a very special significance in mystical astrological practices. The Arabic names for stars have their origins in medieval Arabic astronomy, which already knew countless stars, gave them names, and even kept catalogues of them. The Arabs' knowledge of the stars was one of the most extensive ancient astronomical collections. Many of the old Arabic names were later adopted by European astronomers and are still in use today. Fomalhaut is also special to indigenous cultures. In the legends of some indigenous peoples of Australia, the brightly shining star was seen as a kind of messenger of light. The Aborigines called it the hearth, and it played a central role in stories about creation and the connection to the ancestors. These cultural interpretations and stories show the importance that Fomalhaut has had in our human culture for thousands of years. The ancient Persians would probably never have dreamed of observing and studying the distant star in the way we can today, thanks to instruments such as the James Webb Space Telescope. Fomalhaut b, exoplanet or phantom? It's an exciting question whether and how many planets exist in the vicinity of Fomalhaut. Although the star is young, exoplanets should already be in development if they are there. The planets in our solar system also develop directly after our sun from the remaining accumulations of dust and gas. Fomalhaut has been studied intensively since the 1980s, with telescopes that were becoming increasingly better at the time. In 2004, observations by the Hubble Space Telescope revealed that the dust disk has a sharp inner boundary. It was then assumed for the first time that a massive object exerts a gravitational influence on the dust disk. The fact that the dust disk is elliptical was seen as a further indication of a possible planet. Researchers from the University of California had already expressed a similar suspicion in 2001, however, the evidence was lacking. In November 2008, a paper was published for the first time that postulated the possible existence of exoplanets in the Fomalhaut system and also presented good optical evidence for these planets. In 2010, Hubble turned its eyes to Fomalhaut once again. In the new images, however, there were indications that the inclined position of the disk could also be explained in another way. The evidence for the existence of the exoplanet Fomalhaut b was thus refuted. Despite the lack of evidence, speculation continued in some circles about the possible nature of Fomalhaut b and that it could be an Earth-like planet. 
the possible physical properties of FOMOHOT B could only be deduced by hypothetical orbital parameters, which in plain language meant that all conjectures were highly speculative. The calculations showed that if it is a planet, it could be about half or twice the size of Jupiter. The size and the calculated surface temperature of minus 2 degrees Celsius alone argue against an Earth-like planet. Rather, it appears to be a gas planet. Fomalhaut B could be a kind of prevented sun, similar to our Jupiter. Jupiter probably formed as one of the first planets in the system. If it had had a little more mass, it would have been dense enough to become a star, then we would have a binary solar system with two stars today. But in the Fomalhaut system, the tide turned once again, and later observations could not even prove that the planet Fomalhaut B really existed. New data could no longer prove the definite mass observed at the beginning of the 2000s, which led to the assumption that Fomalhaut B could rather be a short-lived dust cloud formed by the collision of two smaller objects. The JWST infrared detectors were also unable to detect any significant infrared emissions that would indicate the presence of a planet. Planets should be visible through their own heat or reflected starlight in the infrared range, but despite a thorough search, no such evidence was found. Scientists currently believe that the object which was mistaken for the exoplanet Fomalhaut b is in fact not a solid planetary mass but an object that has a dynamic structure that dissolves or changes over time. Click subscribe now for new videos.